What's up, guys? It's another episode of Nerds to Men. I'm your boy, Cameo. This is my awesome co-host. Brad Reed. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Finally. Nailed it. Finally. You know how many cuts, how many takes that took for us to... Well, because actually, this is this is uh, the first episode of season three yes. of Nerds to Men. Yes. And so, we're like, hey, we got, we're in a new studio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... Uh, and also, like, we're kind of in, I converted the garage, basically. Yeah. So, just so everybody knows. We'll, pre- we'll This is the episode where we'll kind of let you in on the behind-the-scenes stuff. Yes. Here at Nerds to Men. Why we kind of been gone a couple weeks. And, yeah. Uh, really, that's just not, nothing to do but work. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but. Uh, it's, it's been, work has been crazy. Mm-hmm. So crazy. But uh, because work has been so crazy, I ended up, like I said, converting my garage and now I've got this little studio uh, slash action figure museum. Slash man cave. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you might hear a fan because it's still a little warm in here. Yeah. Uh, it might sound amateurish to some, but uh, <laughs> we're going to roll with it. So. If you don't know what we're talking about, go to season one. And then, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know. Uh, oh, Spider-Man fell. Oh, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah. We got a little some of our toys out. Uh, any of the toys in here that you're super jealous of, Cameo? Um, you know, like, uh, although some of them are yours. Yeah. <laughs> that Spider-Man yeah, was that's yours. That's my Spider-Man. Look uh, at all them Ninja Turtles behind you. Uh, wait. And I will say it, that word. You cannot say that word. Ninja Turtles. That's pretty dope, man. You, uh, I don't think people can see them exactly, but up there I've got, like, Spider-Man, Gambit, uh-huh. Old Man. Dude, I had this this Gambit. Old Man Logan? Oh, yeah? That Gambit I had. I remember the, the, the jacket. I ended up... Uh, uh, Tearing on me. Oh, grab that, grab that gambit. Cause see, here's the thing about that this gambit. And my buddy Travis Griffin, who works at uh, the tattoo shop, basically down in the Plaza District, no regrets tattoo. He had a box of toys that he was going to get rid of, and this gambit was in it. And I don't know if he was actually going to get rid of that gambit or not, but I was like, nah, you can't get rid of that. So I took it. Look at this sweet <laughs> actin to actin foot action. Yeah. Bam. Oh, nice. <laughs> And uh, you know how I do that? This little awesome button on the back, you just press it down. I didn't even know it did that. <laughs> so what's awesome, uh, it might not be awesome, is Travis may see this and be like, hey, uh, that wasn't right. And I'll be like, no, nah, I'm keeping it. Yeah, Brad stole it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much did. I got a Mr. Miracle and the uh, hard hard cover up there. I like to kind of pair it with all the... Uh, the books. I see stuff. that. That's pretty you know, cool. You got way. your Morbius with the Legion of Monsters, your mm-hmm. old man Logan. Mm-hmm. You got the Joker it. behind you. Oh, yep. Kind of scary. Yeah. So, uh-huh. and what you can't see though, and I, I, I'll throw in a video. Like if you're watching it, you know, you'll probably see the video now. But um, there's other shelves. Uh huh. And I, I'm especially proud of the one with all my Batman stuff and my Thanos. Because uh, I got these lights that you just click them on, and they click. And so, like, that was I was pretty like, dope. I was like, "Cameo, look at my new toys." And I was like, "Bop, bop, 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 bop." Yeah, <laughs> like I was in the Batcave. You're right. That's yeah. how, that's exactly how it looked. Yeah. Exactly how yeah. it looked. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you know. But like I said, man, uh, uh, I wasn't really allowed to talk about this in the comic book shop because of you know people have different opinions on what I do for a living. Yeah. Uh, but I am the operations manager of a weed farm, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so that's why you see my little buddies right here, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching and not listening. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm sure those of you who are in Oklahoma know it's a crazy industry already. Yes. and It's I, booming, man. Every, yeah. Like, there's things popping up left and right. Yeah. I uh, actually, you know, I've I've enjoyed it because... I, I don't enjoy working seven days a week, 10 hours a day, most mm-hmm. of the days, but I've been able to give some of my friends that needed jobs, jobs, and, That's you know. Cool. Yeah, and we might as well put this out there. Cameo also started a new job not too long I ago. Did. Do you want to tell people, or do you mm-hmm. want me to tell them? I can tell them. Tell them what you're doing. Hey, I, I work for uh, Stanley Security Solutions um, yeah. as a security consultant. Mm-hmm. Um, so if uh, your business or your home, um, mainly we do commercial, but, I mean, we also do residential too. Um, but, yeah, if, you're, if your company needs, you know, uh, cameras, uh, um, access, which I might be helping Brad out pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, we also do uh, fire um, 
I mean, we, we do it all. Anything that deals with security, we do it all. So if you own a business, a school, um, I mean, we have tons of technology that is that I'm just now learning about. And it's pretty neat, man. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty stinking neat. So, Well, I was going to say, my friends out there, I've got a lot of friends that watch the podcast. Um, it's a weird to say watch a podcast because a podcast is really what the audio. But anyway, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Xerox. Yeah, yeah, you would Xerox something well, see, you know, or Coke. Like I'm gonna drink a Coke, but people drink Pepsi and call it a Coke. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I feel like it's almost or a soda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like podcast just kind of covers all of it, really. Even yeah, though we do well, a lot of videos. Well, Joe Rogan um, has a podcast, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he also has video for it too. He does. So I mean, I'm not saying we're Joe Rogan, you yeah. know, material. Aren't we though? Yes, we are. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah, no, seriously, though. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I still consider it a podcast. Well, like I say, a lot of you who listen to the podcast, watch the videos. Uh, I've got a friends that uh, they also are in the weed industry now. The mar- mm. Actually, we don't really call it the weed industry. Oh, so y'all it's, bougie now. Yeah, it is getting <laughs> that way. Uh, but it's cannabis, It's uh-huh. and it's medicinal. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff that we make are topicals and stuff mm. for, you know, people who don't want to take opioid stuff like that right, anyway right. we're not gonna get too far into it but like i got a lot of people who uh they're growing their own they've got grows mm-hmm. they've got all kinds of stuff so if you need help with your security options yeah cameo is the guy to I'm talk to so message him on facebook probably be a yeah. good way to start yeah. yeah or um you know you can give me a call at uh 405-200-8177 that's uh 405-200 8177. Yeah. So. so, so needless to say, Cameo changed, uh, you know, I, you're still doing radio, yeah, though. Yeah. yeah. So you could still hear him on Wild 1049. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh huh. Um, but he's also, uh, when he's not on the air, he's out there hitting them streets, trying to protect your businesses. investments. Yeah. Or investments. Yeah, yeah. That too. So there's that. And then, like I said, I've just, oh, it's been crazy. Man. I know, man. Like I've been, I was like, Brad, are we, are we uh, a no go on the show no more, or what? What are we, what are we doing? He's <laughs> like, Nah, man, we still doing it. I'm yeah. just yeah. super busy. Yeah, which is totally understandable. Because yeah. when um, I walked uh, around your your facility, and um, yeah, that looks like a lot of work, dude. People are always surprised because they think you know I might have like six or. 10 plants out there no it's stacked to the walls it's like yeah you know, we got we're uh, it's a, called a vertical grow oh okay and so we have different levels gotcha yeah. gotcha yeah so i mean you know it's been a lot of work and it still continues kinda, to be a lot of work but. <laughs> this might be a throwback for some but it kind of reminded me of um the whole operation of breaking bad <laughs> Although it's not meth, it's not meth at all. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but no. it kind of reminded There's me. There's actually of it. nothing illegal going on. Yeah, which is true. you know a lot of people are like, oh, he's probably just a stoner. Like mm. nah, I'm yeah. a businessman, yeah, right, <laughs> right. And we're making money, yeah. so it's hey. all good. Yeah, keeping the lights on. That's all that matters. But you know, and also <laughs> we're helping out a lot of people too. I feel like because we we even make that stuff that's called RSO, and you know that's yeah. what really the cancer patients um, like. I really need to get some of your bath bombs. Yeah, uh, because. Because I know my wife, uh, Christine, loves taking baths. Mm-hmm. And um, I, this one broadcast that I went to, I forgot the name of the, the, the place, but they have like a CD, CBD, or CDB, <laughs> CBD, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, like it wasn't a bath bomb. It's like bath salts almost. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do, we do uh, a bath soak and a bath bomb. And what they are, they're CBD and THC infused. Mm-hmm. But the thing about it is, um, you know, it's good for topical pain and all that. It doesn't get into your bloodstream. So if Christine was like, you know, I don't want to get high, she won't get high. Mm. It, like I said, it's just for pain relief. And she, when she uh, uh, took a bath, she... She felt kind of weird, mm-hmm. but I mean, she said the next morning, you know, she felt really good. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's stuff, more of a body does thing. Work. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It stuff does. does work. I use it on my torn shoulder. My aunt mm-hmm. uses it for her arthritis in her hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, we use a, a like a drops for sleeping. There's a lot yeah. of different stuff it's good for. And you know, this isn't going to be a marijuana podcast. There's <laughs> no. a lot of those out there. Yeah. <laughs> But Joe we'll, Rogan is yeah, one of them. Yeah, <laughs> we'll still keep it nerdy. But uh, if you if you want, if you if you are a patient in Oklahoma, uh, you can look for our products. They're called 420 Bomb. Also, uh, we have concentrates and stuff that's called Pot County Extracts. Mm. So check it out. Yeah. Let me know what you think about it, and 
Yeah, we need that pain relief. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to help people, you know, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, uh, with all of that being taken over my life, yeah. uh, it was just a lot easier, basically, to uh, get the home studio up and running. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that way we can kind of tailor it around our busy schedules yeah you know. and and we've also been talking behind the scenes too on um bringing out bringing you guys some more content um yeah we're thinking about uh doing another podcast you know that's you know kind of centered around um do you want to say right now or uh yeah i mean what the plan is is we don't don't give away the name no not yet but uh <laughs> The plan is we're going to sit down with uh, local, you know, kind of known people. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say celebrities necessarily. Some yeah. of them might be. Um, and, uh, you know, but people in the media, people mm -hmm. that we know, yeah. basically, and kind of get their stories and find out, you know, their, their you know, passions for... You can be nerdy about lots of things. Yeah, you cars, know, my, music. <laughs> my friend J.D. Runnels is probably not what you would consider a nerd mm -hmm. in the comic books and stuff like that, but... He nerds out on football because he yeah. played at OU, and he like you can you can ask him about dang near any play, and he's got it up here. Yeah, tell me that's not nerding out. That is, that is. <laughs> so you know we're gonna talk to a lot of different people who who you know might be nerds, might not be, but uh, I mean if they hang out with us, they're kind of yeah, there. Right. We're all nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then you know getting out and maybe featuring a few places that we go to. Mm. Uh, you know, I bought a new camera, so Ooh. I want to use it. Mm. Yeah. And a new mic for it. And so I think almost we could do a lot more, even kind of scaling it back just a little. We might yeah. do the podcast every two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking about that. We did it every year for like, uh, I mean, every week for a whole year. Yeah. And then we just got slammed. Yeah. <laughs> Summer always does that. You got uh -huh. kids that are uh, needing to... They get out of school, uh -huh. they go on trips, and, you know. Right, right. Man, it's just crazy. So, yeah. that you know, we hope no, we don't lose anybody because, it's you know, it might not be every week from yeah. now on. But it, we're not, we don't want to quit doing this. No, 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 so. no. Yeah, stay with us for sure, <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. We'll, we'll, we'll be bringing y'all stuff. Yeah. And it might not be, you know, full-length videos, um, but, you know, we are keeping you up to date with all the, 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 the pop culture stuff that's going on um, with the movies and, yeah. and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, just, just stay nerdy. All right? Yeah, stay nerdy. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's get into some of our uh, nerd updates. All right, sounds good to me. Do you have, like, a, a high-pitched nerd update, like, little sounder you could... <laughs> I mean, I got some music playing in the background, but I just want to... Let's get nerdy. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> if your uh, ears are bleeding, I am sorry. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> uh, I have been able to go see a couple movies in the last few weeks, so we're going to get into a couple of those. Okay. Um, but I do want to start off with a story that isn't like... It's probably not breaking news, mm -hmm. but it just kind of came out in the last couple of days that... Uh, the uh, Kevin, it's Feige, right? Yeah. Yeah. He has uh, said that he's been talking to Keanu Reeves about being in the MCU. And, you know, my thing is, first of all, other than uh, Spider-Man, which comes mm -hmm. out next week? Uh, week after next, two weeks. I two thought weeks it was July from, 2nd. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. That's next week. Yeah. Well, oh. No, yeah. it's not next week. Oh. I don't it's the week after next. It's, it's that Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Well. It's, yeah. By the time you see this video, it might... Oh, I see. We got, we got a whole other week of June. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it's two weeks, uh, Spider-Man, unless you're watching this on July 2nd. Mm -hmm. Then I was right. <laughs> um, but uh, no, that's the next thing coming out. Is there anything scheduled after that? Not that I can uh, it remember. It seems like it's kind of wide open right, right. right now. Um, we did... Uh, they are going to uh, put Avengers... The last one, Endgame, back into theaters with more footage. We'll, we'll talk a little yeah, more yeah. on that. But, uh, I, so I don't, I, you know, it seems like there's a lot of wide openness that they could go with getting Keanu Reeves mm -hmm. in. Uh, let me throw one out to you. I don't even know if you've read a lot of this. I, I, haven't, I haven't heard it. So. I, I uh, one of the, there was a, I can't remember which comic book writer, artist that I followed on Twitter said uh, he wanted to see Keanu Reeves as Moon Knight. That would be kind of cool. I was like, I could see Moon Knight. Yeah. I could see that one. I could see Cause, it. Because I don't know. What else? I've heard, I've, I think I've heard people say Wolverine. Yeah. And Wallace, I think Keanu Reeves would probably 
do an okay job with Wolverine mm-hmm. because I like Keanu. Re- I really do like Keanu and pretty much anything yeah. he's in. <clears throat> but um, I don't know about that one. Obviously, he does. He's a little taller, and you mm-hmm. know, yada yada yada. Yeah, I think he's about the same size as uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. So, I, I, you know, I don't. I've never stood next to Keanu Reeves. Uh-huh. He looks tall though. Yeah, compared to other actors. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you never know because some of those guys are like five foot tall. <laughs> yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom Cruise like uh, I think wears heels, but but you can't really tell what they look like. Yeah. So yeah, well, uh, I bet he looks good in heels though. <laughs> <laughs> Them Chanel pumps. Yeah. Uh, Keanu Reeves' Moon Knight, though, that one really stuck out to me. Like, I'd like to see that. And see, even though Keanu Reeves doesn't age, um, just like how they would do like with Deadpool, if Ryan Reynolds, like, let's say there's going to be an extra 10 years of Deadpool. Yeah. Um, all they really need is his voice. True. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if he never takes off his mask and, you know, just goes full Deadpool all the time, yeah. then, you know, that, that's an easy fix. Right. Um, I'm trying to think of who else, though. I mean, I think some people mentioned maybe for the Fantastic Four or I was just like, mm, nah. Nah, he would have to play like somebody close to uh, John Wick for sure. Yeah. Well, um, I'm, I'm, you guys comment who you yeah. think Keanu Reeves should be. Yeah. Because we really want to know what you guys think. I, I really don't. I don't have anything other than, like like I said, Moon Knight. I saw that, and now that's all I can get in my head. <laughs> so oh, Real quick, um, you know, uh, fan casting. I saw a uh, somebody on Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll try to find it and, and possibly post it on the podcast. But um, somebody wanted Jason Momoa to play Sabretooth. Oh yeah, did you, did you see that? No, I didn't. But man, I should have I should have saved it. He would be a great saber tooth. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just so big and hairy. So I mean, what else did I see, Jason Momoa wise? There was something going around mm-hmm. that him and he wants to do a remake of Big with Peter Dinklage. <laughs> I saw that. that <laughs> I would love that. I and think that would be funny. Uh, oh, there's another thing about Jason Momoa, but let's circle back. No, nah, well, that that's another story later. Okay, on. okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But. I don't know. Uh, Sabretooth would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Momoa's Sabretooth. But I thought, I could have sworn I I thought that there was another Marvel thing I saw them wanting him as. Maybe it was another thing where he could be Wolverine. I was like, no. 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 I think that might have been what it was. Get but, somebody that's like 5'11", you know, 5'10", 5'11". That, okay, is it, and I know, you know, I might get some heat for this from comic book people. Uh-huh. Does he have to be short? No, he doesn't have to be, no. Because, I mean... You know, Hugh Jackman wasn't. Um, it would be nice to me to see a guy that looks kind of more like the comic book yeah. version of him, though. But if, you know, if it's one of those, if it's a quality actor, I'm not going to get too hung up on right. whether he's like a, you know, a little squatty dude like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Wolverine. Yeah. But if you could, let's try to go that way, mm-hmm. you know. But, uh, okay, so I did see John Wick for Father's Day. My uh, my kids took me out to see nice, it, right? Nice, nice. Loved it. It's like the Fast and Furious of those kinds of movies, okay. you know, just nonstop action, uh-huh. not a lot of story, which I'm fine with. Yeah. On a movie like that, I mean, there's some movies like, you know, like, it seems like spy movies, especially, where you're like, what's going on here? Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it was just a, a rocking good time. I do have to say, though, uh, Morpheus is in it. Um, he is? Yeah. And I think he was in the last one, too, wasn't he? Did you I, see any of the John Wicks? I saw one and two. Um, wasn't he in two? Because I, I know. I can't remember. Here's the thing. They all oh, start. Yes, he was in two. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They all start basically where the last one picked up, like uh-huh. right where it picked up. So um, I think that this, because there are certain things in the movie that could either just be, you know, let me just, for instance, because uh-huh. everybody's kind of, for instance, with John, or, yeah. Uh, familiar with John Wick, and this won't be any spoilers if you mm-hmm. haven't seen the movie, which has been out a little bit. Yeah, they kill people mm-hmm. all throughout the movie. Right. Sometimes the people around them don't even react. Like, like if we were in a public place killing people, you would think other people would be like, "Oh my god, yeah, hey, let's get out of here." Maybe they are also spies, and they're just like, "Oh, oh yeah, that's like, happening. This again. is this is our life, right?" Oh god. Uh. So then there's other times where, again, it's a big action flick. So uh-huh. maybe they just didn't put a lot of time into some other things. 
like they would kill people and then they would like have a big wide screen of them like walking away and then those people those dead people weren't there <laughs> so here's what i'm thinking uh-huh. where else does that happen like in video games kind of thing oh yeah yeah john wick is a uh it's a matrix there it's just like a video game within the matrix get out it is get out it is him is and morpheus it? are like you know let's let's play uh yeah. assassins oh my god get out it's happening it's, it's real not. life it's not well it's not real life because it's the matrix <laughs> get out <laughs> <laughs> that's my theory i want to know if anybody thinks that that's stupid <laughs> or is there something to it? how was halle berry in it halle berry halle, halle berry, berry. <laughs> um she was all right she, she was all right i saw her uh, was halle berry in that movie yeah oh yeah i heard she was uh, i was for some reason i thought that was jada Pinkett. <laughs> I know. They all don't look that alike, Brad. That is not <laughs> what I meant. Oh, my God. But that was Halle Berry. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but I, I, didn't, I didn't hear. I watched a uh, video of her uh, doing the the, um, the gun training. Oh, yeah. She looked pretty awesome at yeah. it. Yeah. That definitely was not Jada. <laughs> I don't know why. You really are trying to make it go Matrix. Because she was in the third one. <laughs> was she? Yeah. that was. I don't know uh, why. For some reason, I thought I saw her name in the credits, and then, I don't know. Who knows? Like, yeah. you know, when it was starting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. <laughs> it was Halle Berry. <laughs> uh, but she really, I mean, she's, you know, she doesn't have a big part. Oh, uh, okay. But when she was in it, she was dope. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And she's beautiful, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> um, okay, so we did mention the re-release of the Avengers just a little bit. Yeah. What extra scenes are going to be in it? And do we need any more? I mean, I think it covered it pretty good. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it needs to be re-released. Um, I just think when movies get re-released in theaters yeah. and it's not already not on, on DVD, right. just put it on DVD. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. just put it out. Right. Yeah. That because that movie's three hours as it is. Yeah. Yeah. So is this movie going to be four hours long now? <laughs> right. Like, or are we going to do get like... Um, Cause, did you watch the extended version of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? No. Okay. Well, if you have... That uh, one's then, on DVD, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have, oh, okay. then you probably know what I'm talking about. But um, they, when they added the extra scenes, it was just like a storyboard oh, type. Okay. So yeah. are we going to see like a green screen and, and some other stuff? Or uh, like, are these parts that were already filmed and already edited to for the movie, but, you know, just got taken out and they went with different with a different scene? Maybe. Yeah. I wonder if that's how it's going to be. I, you know, I don't know. It's I haven't heard anything yet on what it actually will entail. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Is that bad? Is that no, it's not sacrilege? Bad. I, I mean, I do want to see it, mm-hmm. but I'll watch it at the house. Yeah. You know, I'll spend my, you know, twenty four, twenty five dollars for the Blu ray or four mm-hmm. K, whatever it is, and then And truth be told, I've only seen it once, so I mean a second viewing would be you know, would be okay. Mm-hmm. I just uh I don't know. I, I liked that movie. I didn't love love it. Yeah. Uh so I I'll just wait until it comes out on video. Yeah. But I, right. I saw I've seen a lot of people that are like, Yes. I mean I'll probably I I might just go by myself and see what it's like. Well, if you're going, call me up. I okay. might, I might cool, join cool. you. Here's what I'm actually more excited about. What? The video game. Oh, my gosh. The video game, which I guess uh, was it announced last week at E3? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here's, here's my thoughts on that. A, what? I love it. Mm-hmm. Is it supposed to be from the same people who made the Spider-Man mo- uh, video game? Um, I can't remember. Um, but I will say that... Um, they are. I think they're they're going to try to tie it in. Mm, okay. Because um, if you played the Spider-Man PS4 game, um, when you go to the Avengers Tower the first time, and like it's like one of the the uh, 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 landmarks that you have to take a photo mm-hmm. of, um, he says, you know, they're never really here. I hear that they're on the West Coast. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I think they're going to tie that in. And I actually pre-ordered the game, and um, the guy was saying that you know they're going to be. Uh, releasing some uh, uh, DLC, or they're talking about releasing DLC for other Avengers yeah. for the game. Nice. So be on the lookout for that. And also, um, if you pre-ordered it, there's going to be a beta so, version coming out. Wait, there's going to be DLC in the Spider-Man game? With no, no, the no, 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 no. Oh, okay. In the, uh, I'm sorry, in the Avengers game oh, coming okay. out. That yeah, was yeah. probably just me misunderstanding. But um, So 
I would be excited if it's by the same people that made the Spider-Man mm-hmm. game. I'm excited anyway. My question to you. Yeah. Like, I love Batman games, mm-hmm. the Arkham games. I loved the Spider-Man game. Why aren't there more? Because you would think that's the perfect medium for those kinds of video games. It, you know, like, people that love comic books, people that love these yeah. movies are going to love any yeah. kind of video game where you get, you know... Even I, more of these characters. Yeah, I just think that um, I think the I would say people don't want to get oversaturated with stuff because yeah. You but know, I mean, if you're a sports fan, there's NBA, there's true. football, there's that's you true. Know, yeah, yeah, that's very. And true. if you're a fan, mm-hmm. you're gonna spend your money. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But I think you know they already know the fans are gonna buy it. Yeah. They already know that. So let's say there's a hundred million fans. Right. But they, you know bring out uh, 200 million units of the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, now we just over, you know, overshot our, our, our budget because right. we produced two, 200 million and only, let's say, 105 million got yeah. sold. Yeah. So uh, it's probably like that. But with, with, um, with football and basketball and all those games and also racing games too, they're like, okay, well, you know, we know we're going to target those fans. Yeah. And, I mean, if you follow the Thunder, uh, um, the Lakers, you know, there's, you know, millions and millions of followers right. on, on their on their page. So, you know. True. And, you know, also every year the, the roster is a little different. So people right. are like, oh, I got to get it. I got to get yeah, the new version. Yeah. Whereas these, these characters, you know. But, again, um, let's just say that they announce an X-Men video game tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm buying it. Oh, definitely. Um, a decent Ninja Turtles game. I would buy it. I'll buy two. <laughs> I mean, the last one, it was okay. I, just, I didn't love it, it was, love it. It was all right. Um, it wasn't long enough. Um, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> Some of the others, you know, um, that I'm thinking of also, uh, there's like a lot of fight games, you know, yeah. there's like Injustice. Uh-huh. And those are cool, mm-hmm. but that's not what I really, really want. You know, uh, me and one of my friends were talking about this. Um, if they did a Injustice uh, Ninja Turtle style video game mm-hmm. where it was um, kind of like, um, I, I would say Arkham Knight. Right. You know, if they did a Ninja Turtle game like that with the the base characters from Injustice, I would lose my mind. Yeah. Like, please give me that game. Yeah. Uh, like I say, the Arkham style, the <laughs> Spider-Man style, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. Like the fighting games, there's you know you can get a bunch of fighting games with a lot of these you know Marvel characters, DC characters yeah. on the phone, or mm-hmm. there's a lot of those games floating around there. There's a lot of uh, Lego games, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I just think like in the style of the Arkham and the Spider-Man games, you would think there'd be a ton of those. Yeah, and really there's not. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. Uh, but speaking of X Men, just a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's been a few weeks since it came out, but we'll we'll go ahead and touch on it. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> Which I don't make those jokes often, but Cameo just watched The Office not too long ago, and it's super annoying (laughs) because I watched The Office for the first time a year ago, so I'm already past all that. Oh, okay. Uh, No. (laughs) I love that show, though. show is amazing. Uh, Me and Christine were talking about um, uh, if I would have watched The Office, that uh, we should have had a Pam and Jim wedding oh <laughs> where we would have you know people of uh, like close-ups on people's faces yeah. get like commentary on the side you know all yeah. that stuff i'd like a close-up of never mind <laughs> uh you have a lovely wife um <laughs> uh, so, i know she is lovely though she's very nice and i'm i have nothing but respect for her good <laughs> such a creeper i know uh so dark phoenix uh I went and saw it. <laughs> I, we normally kind of judge them by if it's a no pee movie or uh-huh. not, which I didn't have to go pee. I didn't have to go pee either. I did say it was a two nap movie because <laughs> I drifted off a couple times. Oh, no. Uh, first of all, I did see it at night, like at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, so that could be it. I'm not, you know, by the time 930 rolls around, I'm usually like, oh. <laughs> so I, I'm not. I don't stay up late. You like old I used man. To. I know. I know. It's that's the way it is. But uh, I, I, it it was like most of the X Men movies. Mm-hmm. I get. I go and love the X Men. I want to see a great movie, and then just kind of like, eh. Yeah. I mean, first of all, spoiler alert. I guess 
the people that died are the people that you know died because of the previews. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't like... A shocker? Yeah. yeah. There was no heart to the movie, I felt like. I, I just felt like it wasn't, you know. And then I posted, I posted that thing about how did um, Magneto go from... You know, looking like uh, Michael Fassbender, but and then you know, some people are like, "Well, there's there was time travel and all that." Yeah, but th- th- it's really I don't care. I really don't care about that because you know we all know they rebooted the movies. But at the same time, I uh, I just feel like it's inconsistent in that it in the quality of the movies. Yeah, like I really liked uh, you know Days of Future Past stuff like that. And then right after that was uh, Apocalypse, and I was like, mm. "See if if they were so." Um, I'm about to say Days of Apocalypse, <laughs> Days of Future Past. If they just aged McAvoy and Fassbender, everything would have been fine. Oh well, yeah. But they wanted to go with Sir uh, 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 Ian McKellen mm-hmm. and um, Sir Patrick Stewart. Yeah. So it's just like you know, why Is would you do Stewart or Sir? Yeah. He is mm-hmm. awesome for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. Um, so it's just like you know, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. They need their own podcast uh-huh. together. Yeah, they do. Uh, I've seen them on interviews together. They're mm-hmm. great, and I think aren't they like best friends? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They need a podcast. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna write them. I'll be like, I'll produce it <laughs> for hundreds of dollars because they're probably good for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're knights. Of course they are. Yeah. Ooh, could they knight me? No. They might put a good word for you. Jamie Knight at Home Girl. Well, that was different. <laughs> that was All different. Right. All right. Let's get back to uh <laughs> let's get back to the uh, Dark Phoenix. Um uh, they did Quicksilver dirty. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I was mad at that. Me too. Um and not not really I'm nothing happened to him, but mm. they just didn't he was in like what, two scenes? Yeah. Basically. Okay. So uh you know, I, I got something to kind of uh, tell you about that might be actually pretty cool. What? But before we get to that, let's just uh, let's just say, would you recommend Dark Phoenix? Did you love it? I didn't love it. Um, I did like it. Yeah. Um, I will say the I'm a big Nightcrawler fan. Oh yeah. So the I think I guess you could say the third act um, when he started actually fighting. Yes. Was amazing. That was uh, that was cool. There was a little part there where, uh, you know, uh, where Magneto came, you know, and they all start. I guess my my issue is it just didn't really feel like an X Men movie to me. It felt like you had these characters, and I can see that. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I because it's, uh, you know, if you ask, well, what does an X Men movie feel like? I'm just, I don't know. That wasn't it. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, Logan, watch, watch the Logan animated, was uh, movie, you know or cartoon, and then yeah, uh, yeah. Also, you know, watch the first X Men yeah. movie. I wouldn't say Logan was an X Men movie, no. but it, but it was amazing. Yeah. So I mean, I, you know, I just I think it was just the story. I feel like the characters weren't really um, developed. Um, we all know that Cyclops and Jean were together. We yeah, all know that. Yeah. Um, but you know, they basically start off together, right? And you don't really see like that would have been fine if we saw something in um, um, apocalypse. Apocalypse, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, like it was just that, and then the whole you know Phoenix at the end of Apocalypse, and then she got the Phoenix Force at the beginning of of Dark Phoenix. So it's mm-hmm. just like, what, what's going on? Like, what happened? And uh, what about Cyclops dropping an f bomb? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, but uh, again, it was like. It was like they did it to show like how, but then it it, it really didn't have any heart to it to me. Yeah. I just I just didn't love it. I don't know if they just need to find new directors, you know, get it in Marvel's hands, uh-huh. and then we'll probably get something better. Yeah, I um, mean, you know, we will. I mean, they haven't you know steered us you know away. So let me ask you this: Do you remember Deadpool two? Yes. Do you remember when Deadpool's walking in front of the room and there's only a certain amount of Mm-hmm. X-Men people. Mm-hmm. The people that died mm-hmm. weren't in that room. Very true. Yep. So it could have been a little spoiler, not spoiler, like mm-hmm. an Easter egg yeah. for what was coming up uh-huh. in Dark Phoenix. What do you think about that? 
Yeah, I think that's true. Because it, it almost, if you think back to it, it's like they were in there talking, you know, maybe deciding what they were going to do about the, you know, what uh-huh. happens in the movie. Yeah, 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 that is true. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and I'll I'll throw up a picture of what I'm talking about because mm. I wasn't the one who found it. It was going around the internet. Yeah. Oh wait, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool because um, the the person that I, I was watching the video of uh, that was talking about that said um, that. That was a green screen. Yeah. Like when they were film, filming, <laughs> filming Dark Phoenix, um, they filmed that real quick oh. and sent it over to uh, 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 Deadpool's team. Yeah. And then they edited it in there. So it, it probably is a little bit of yeah. a, hey, guess what's yeah. going to happen? Right, 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 neat, right. Neat. All right, Men in Black, have you seen it? Yes. You did see it. I did see it. Okay, so when I was deciding whether I wanted to see John Wick or Men in Black, you picked right. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I wanted to go see Men in Black was, of course, um, uh, Thor. Yeah. Uh, uh, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Hemsworth and then... Um, Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson. I love Tessa Thompson. I do too. Don't tell my wife. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell my wife. She knows. Uh, but, yeah. So, you know, I, I dig them. Like, uh, did you see... Have you seen Bad Times at the El Royale yet? No. Uh, it's on HBO if you okay. have like HBO or any of that. Yeah, I do. I do. Check it out. It's okay. a really good movie. But like, I love Hemsworth. He's great. And mm-hmm. like, part of the only thing, not the only thing I liked about that Ghostbusters remake, you know, but he was, when he, you actually see his comedic side, you're like, oh, okay. He's, mm-hmm. you know, he's pretty good. Yeah. And then he did more of that in Thor Ragnarok, and, yeah, you yeah. know, as they went on. Even, uh, you know, Chubby Thor <laughs> was pretty funny. That was pretty good. Yeah. Although I do have to say, like, I remember there was a story saying that Marvel was going to uh, include, like, a body positive, which I guess is that, is that the new word for Chubby? Oh, I guess so. A, a big fatty. <laughs> Because I'm body positive now. <laughs> I'd like to, li- you know, be a little more body, body negative, but I'm working <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so I was like, well, that's cool, you mm-hmm. know. And then, but it was it was a joke. It was, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like, I don't know. Uh-huh. And I'm not saying I'm offended. I'm not triggered or anything. Right, right. But I was just like, well, that, that's not really, you know. If it's the punchline, it's not, yeah. you know. Yeah. But then again. I thought it was pretty funny too, uh-huh. so I'm not gonna, you know, right, I'm not right. writing any letters. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, you know, I loved Men in Black. Uh, the sequels, kind of, as it went on, it didn't, you know, to me, I lost it, lost me. Yeah. But this last one, what did you think about it as a reboot and with the new characters? Um, I, I do dig their uh, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth's. Uh, um, chemistry, chemistry, yes. If, they, you would think that they probably have built up a little bit, right? You know, yeah. right, right. And um, <laughs> I, I, for what it was, I, I enjoyed it. I do like the Men in Black, you know. I guess lore. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that being said, it, it was, it was good for, uh, um, you know, just an entertaining movie. Uh huh. But I, same way I felt with Dark Phoenix, like the story wasn't there for me. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yes, they tied it in. Yes, they, you know, begin and middle end. I mean, but it was just like, okay, you know, there was some funny parts. Uh, Chris Chris Hemsworth is just funny. Yeah. Like, I think if, you know, he's done being an action star, he just needs to be a comedian. Because, I <laughs> yeah. mean, he he's pretty hilarious. I would see him going back and forth, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, overall, um, I wouldn't say go see it. Um Unless you do matinee at Tinseltown, mm-hmm. yeah, because <laughs> it's the cheapest. Oh right. Um, or Dollar Theater. Or wait till it's on video. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. Well, I mean, rent it. Redbox it. Definitely. Yeah. Netflix it. Netflix it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not a total waste of t- your time, is what you're saying. No, it's not a total waste. But I mean, if there's something li- better. <laughs> li- yeah. Like I said, Brad uh, did right by going to see John Wick three. Than this one, mm-hmm. I haven't seen John Wick three. I've just heard people ranting and raving about mm-hmm. it. So, yeah. Well, and you know, you're you're talking about you know lack of story, yeah. lack of story development. Mm-hmm. Again, John Wick barely any story, but it's just badass enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, and that's cool. That like, you don't care. Like if if Men in Black was like that, yeah, I probably would have been but, like, it's, the, it's cool. Yeah, and at the same time, it's like 
you can't do that with every movie, like you know. Right, right. Like, um, but even like, it's funny to me because even the Fast and Furious movies, like I, I said, John Wick's kind of the Fast and Furious movie mm-hmm. of assassin movies. Well, they're even spinning stuff off, like mm-hmm. Hobbs and Shaw and yeah. stuff. You know? I'm kind of excited about that. By me the way. too. <laughs> I, want, I want to see that one a, a lot. So uh, let's uh, let's talk about this. So there was like a countdown going on uh, on Marvel. Oh right? man, people and it was the, were going crazy. And it was really the comic books mm-hmm. side, but people kept thinking, "Oh, what does this mean? Is it Spider Man?" Because it was like a webbed four, a webbed three. Yeah. Did it go down to two and one? Yeah. I, uh, I guess it was just a countdown. Yeah, it was. Um, I think it started on Sunday, which was day four. Then Monday was three. Tuesday was two. Wednesday was one. And we got the news today, Thursday. Okay. So oh, this news just broke today. Just today. Yeah. Because um, I saw this news, and I'll let you break it, but I'm excited. Uh, it happened six hours ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know a whole six hours, but, you know, six hours ago. Um, and... It was uh, basically just a comic book, mm-hmm. you know, a new series coming out. Um, I w- I'll get to it here in a second. But back to the whole countdown, when everybody saw four, yeah, they thought, because uh, I think it was the writer for uh, the first Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, uh-huh. retweeted it. And people were like, oh, my god, Not goodness. Tobey Maguire. No, no, no. The no, no, no. writer. The writer for, the for one Tobey Maguire featured Spider-Man. Maguire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He... Uh, he tweeted it out. Everybody's like, oh, snap, we're getting a Spider-Man 4. Yeah. This is great. Be, and, you know, it would be kind of cool, too, because, you know, Sony owns Spider-Man, so they could do pretty much whatever they want. Right, right. Um, because, you know, Marvel, or I guess Disney, is basically, least, I guess you could say leasing Spider-Man right mm-hmm. now, um, or renting. And um, so then, you know, went down to three, two, one. And today, Thursday, uh it's looking like J.J. Abrams. You know him from uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, Star-, Star Trek. Um, um, he Also, he was one of the creators of Lost. Right. Uh, I think he was involved with producing Westworld. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, the uh, man, what's the big monster movie that... Uh, Godzilla. No. No? Well, I don't know. Did he do Godzilla this last one? I don't know. Okay. What was the other one? The uh, the <sighs> Cloverfield. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. of course, uh, the movies that followed, especially Cloverfield Paradox, which yeah. was on Netflix, which is one amazing, of my favorites. Yeah. So go, go ahead and that. watch that. <laughs> so yeah, when you tell me J.J. Abrams, I'm I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. And uh, and then you know it's not a movie, it's not a TV show, nothing like that. It's comic books, and you said he's working on it with his. I'm going to assume it's his son. They look alike. They have the same glasses and uh, well, they have the same nose and yeah. mouth. Here's the, I'm, I'm looking at the video right now if you're not watching the video. <laughs> here's the video of their announcement right here. Hi, I'm JJ. And I'm Henry. Uh, Henry's very nervous. I am so nervous right now. Here's the thing. Uh, we have written a, uh, a Spider-Man comic book. It's coming out in September. It's a limited series. Uh, Sarah Pichelli, the wonderful artist, is working on this with us. She's a genius. It's incredible. And um, we're really excited. There's a, a crazy new villain named Cadaverous uh, that uh, we can't wait for you to, for you to meet. But uh, in September, Marvel, been talking to them for a long time about this, so very excited to be doing it, and especially to be doing it with this gentleman. It's just so exciting. Uh, I can't believe it's happening. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. I don't know why I thanked them. Well, because they're great. They're great. You're great. See you soon. Bye. So, yeah. Um, so he's working with his, uh, I'm going to assume, son, Henry yeah. Abrams. And uh, they're going to be teaming up with um, uh, Sarah Pacelli, which is an amazing artist. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I can't tell you uh, what what stories that she's, she's uh, uh, I guess, illustrated. But um, Google. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I'm not going to do that right now for the sake of time. So, but I mean, yeah, you got to go check it out. Um, it's, it's coming out in uh, September. So, uh, first issue. Right. Now, I'm not sure if it's the first week. Um, they haven't uh, released that just yet. But, yeah, September of this year, get ready for J.J. Abrams and Henry Abrams and Sarah Pacelli's uh, uh, new Spider-Man, which is going to have a new vicious villain. I don't nice. know who that is, but can't wait for it. I can't wait either. All right, our last story we'll get to uh, today. There's been some talk of Batista, who is mm-hmm. the wrestler. He just... Wrestled at WrestleMania, yeah. actually, against Triple H, um, which, uh, 
was, uh, and that wasn't such a great look for him, I don't think. But because <clears throat> he did like these weird promos leading up to it, where he's like basically just give me what I want, give me what I want. Until Triple H <laughs> gives him his. But you know what I think sometimes, and this is, we're rabbit trailing a little bit. Like sometimes I think in WWE, for those who watch it like I do. They can do like these weird promos, but yeah. later when they cut them up for like the replay before like you know the pay per view or all that, yeah, it looks awesome. So it's uh, like okay. it's like he's doing it till he gets the right take, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and then they condense it down, and you're like, oh, that wasn't as bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's just what I think they do. But anyway, um, and then he retired from wrestling again, you know, because mm. it was just really it was just for WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Um. But, of course, I loved him in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Like, man, I, I thought he was great. Some people didn't for whatever reason. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's been some talk that they would – I don't even know, like, what would it be in the – not in the Batman movie that's coming up, right? Or um, at yeah, some I don't, point. Yeah, I don't think so. But, yeah, he – They're talking about him playing Bane. Yeah, he said he'd be glad to play Bane. Yeah. Which I think would be an amazing pick. Now, has, has this, like, been anything official or just him saying that'd nah, be something not, I'd be into? Yeah, it's nothing official. Honestly, like, couldn't you take any big jacked-up dude and put him in as Bane? You probably could. I mean, could. all you got to do is talk like this. <laughs> I don't think they're going to go that way. Come here, y'all. <laughs> I could be bang. I just got to talk like Scrooge McDuck a little. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't have my little Scottish accent. But anyway. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, name me a big jacked up dude and... That could be Bane. Uh, yeah. I mean, but the I, thing is, though, there's not a whole lot of those big jack. Like, you know, back in the day, there was Stallone, uh, you know, uh, Arnold. Yep. Um, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Like these big jack dudes, and they would be in. Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> they would be in the. Like now, look at the superheroes now. You know, Mark Ruffalo. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They're Tom just, Holland. Keanu yeah. Reeves, if they yeah. bring him in. Yeah. He's not jacked up. You know? Right, right. So, you know, I guess if you're looking, it might be, you know, because, and Tom Hardy, he wasn't like a big, he kind of goes back and forth. He does yeah. whatever for the role. Batista, he's not necessarily an actor actor. He's, you know, yeah. he's an action movie actor right, right now. Right, right. So I don't I don't hate it, but then again, like I said, if you were gonna just find me some big dude, I don't I don't know that Bane's a, a serious enough character that I'm gonna care one way or the other. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm down with Batista. Hey, I'm down. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's that. I I still haven't seen Brightburn yet. I really want to see it still. You didn't like it. I, I mean, basically, I he's just a bad Superman, though, right? Yeah, and... Um, I mean, even... It's in Kansas. Yeah. So everything... So I don't know if Brightburn is a real city in Kansas, yeah. but that's where they get it. It's yeah. Brightburn, Kansas. But it's James Gunn, so I want to yeah. see it. And, um, <laughs> and it's cool because um, we all know James Gunn is... Um, uh, oh, my goodness. The director for the new The Suicide Squad movie. Mm-hmm. So... It's kind of cool because, you know, this is a bad Superman, but Yondu is in it. Uh, Michael oh, Rooker. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's basically, it's not an end credit scene, but the, it's a, like post, it's a post, or it's like a mid credit scene oh, yeah. type deal. And he and it's going back between, like, he's like one of those uh, uh, conspiracy theorist type, mm-hmm. type people. And he has hair in it, which is so weird to me. Because yeah. every movie, or every show or movie he's been in, he's been bald. But um, it's kind of cool. If you've already seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But he um, basically is going over the Justice League. Nice. And you'll see what I'm like. Really pay attention to it. Yeah. I'm not going to go into detail, but like really pay attention to it. All right. Will do. Um, Man, that pretty much wraps us up. We got a bunch of things we could continue to talk about. But I think what we're going to do next show, what we should do Talk about some of the stuff we're watching. We'll do like a nerd flicks and chill. Okay, I'm down. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff on ner- uh, Netflix right now that I'm super excited to watch. Yeah. Uh, Black Mirror. I haven't watched all of it yet. I'm on uh, episode two of this There's only season. three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I-, I was really excited to see the third one with Miley Cyrus because uh. I think there's a bunch of Nine Inch Nails songs and stuff. Oh, there. really? Uh, but the first one, um, who's who's my man who plays? <laughs> uh, Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Like, the story is is uh <laughs> oh and um the the video game girl is uh, Mantis. Oh yeah, 
I can't remember her name. It's like I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it. Well, um, <laughs> but Mantis is in it. There, from, uh, like, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> I could see how this one would be a little controversial, mm -hmm. and I applaud him for for doing this uh, episode mm -hmm. because I think it. You know, it kind of it kind of showed that he's an actor. Yeah, and not just you know. Uh, an action hero or whatever. Right, right, right. But, and I mean, he's done other things where he was, he's, he's done good acting. Mm. But there's, there's themes on this one that, um, <laughs> I think, like, are things that we probably, I don't want to get into it yet because I, I want people to watch it. Yeah. If they, if they like Black Mirror. But it just like, it's like things that like, you're like, yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the way they deal with it was, it was very lifelike, I thought. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, oh, real, real quick about Black Mirror. Um, every episode is different. Yes. Um, there are some, um, um, I guess, underlying themes that happen throughout the whole series. Yeah. But they are all separate in itself. So you can start at season five and, you know, yeah. be caught up with us and as we talk about it. Um, but, yeah, each episode is different. And the same characters can be in the same, in the same season, but as a different actor, but, uh, normally it's just, you know, yeah, it's all, you know, each season you can, or each episode is basically like its own season. Yeah. Yeah. So. It was, it was a very interesting story. I thought, yeah. like I was, I, I, the only thing is like, how long are these episodes this season? I know there's only three, so like <sighs> an hour and a half. Cause they felt that, long. That first one was, I was like, yeah, please yeah. watch that first. episode. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, here's another thing real quick. Jessica Jones is out mm -hmm. and I haven't watched it yet. Have you seen any of it yet? I am on episode four. Any good so far? It's all right. Like the last season of Jessica Jones, I was like, oh. so it's been a little bit kind of hard to, to really yeah. get up for this one, but we'll see. I'll watch it. <laughs> I mean, it is Jessica Jones. So. And it is the summertime. So there's not a whole lot on. So, like I say, yeah. we'll we'll talk more nerd flicks and chill on the next show. Okay. Um, just go back to uh, Black Mirror. The first episode is an hour and a minute. Second episode oh. is hour ten, and uh, the Miley episode is an hour seven. Oh, okay. So, oh man, they weren't as long as I thought, but yeah. But I feel like I like movies that are, or I guess series that are like that, mm -hmm. that they're an hour long, but it seems like you've been watching it for two hours, and it's just mm -hmm. like, yeah. oh wow, I can watch another episode. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. I, I really enjoyed it, uh, both episodes of Black Mirror. Because the mm -hmm. second one was a little more like, like some of them are futuristic. Yeah. So, but that the second one was like, well, this hap this could have happened today, mm -hmm. you know, and so it was interesting. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll get into that, and we'll also let you know kind of what comic books we're reading next next episode. Yep. Yep. Uh, because I've been uh I got uh the last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about getting into that one, and mm -hmm. I know there's said. some. <laughs> yeah. Somebody should start a drinking game around when you say that. Okay. You be tow up. <laughs> so yeah. Uh what was anyway, I think that's it. Oh, let me mention this. There was uh like our community calendar basically. Yeah. Um we were uh actually planning on being here for this, but as we talked about in earlier in the show, I got to work. Been, yeah, it's been busy, <laughs> definitely. But Sunday, uh, June 23rd, for those of you watching it uh, and listening, um, if it's after June 23rd, don't show up. Well, actually, <laughs> go to this. Uh, it's the grand opening of Stranger Games in uh, Oklahoma City. They're at Southwest 59th Street in Oklahoma City. And uh, Sunday, June 23rd, from noon to 3, they're going to do a pop swap. Mm. So you can bring out your pops if you got, you know, we got tons of pops laying around that, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, maybe I wish I had this one or, yeah. you know, maybe I have too many. Yeah. Uh, come out there and bring all your pops. Uh, a lot of our friends are going to be out there. Mm -hmm. uh, the guys from BFN podcast are going to be out there. So go hang out with them. Tell them we said, hey, we're sorry we didn't make it, but yeah. go do that. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that brings us to a wrap. All right. Let's All do right. it. So we'll see you here next show. I'm Brad Reed. I'm Cameo. Keep it nerdy, baby. <laughs>